Hello humans, I'm Batsy, and well, I died again. Number of deaths too. So you know the drill, time to burn some diamonds again. This time it was fighting a wither, so at least it was a bit more epic than last time. Obviously this time was also a murder, such discrimination against short people. I could even hear the wither, laughing at me from above as I was withering away. Oh, that was actually really quick, I thought diamonds would take longer to burn. What else happened between episodes? Oh right, the weekly missions. If you remember the last episode, I managed to complete every single quest I had. While I check the new quests, let me tell you what happened. Last week I mentioned that I had a lot of server management to do, that's because I migrated the world to a new, and much more powerful server. So while I was all happy, moving things to a new server and all of that, I was doing some editing and recording between tasks. Most of it was already recorded it was just a matter of editing it and what not. In fact, the outro and a couple of things for the last minute of the video are all I had left to do. I had this brilliant idea of getting all the rewards for the quests at the same time, seeing how many coins I was about to get that week. By now you might have realized what happened then. Yes, when migrating to a new server, everything went perfectly, except, for the missions. All of them got reset. I thought about checking the recordings and getting myself a bit below the average of what I should have gotten, but then I thought oh well, tough luck, next time just cash in the quests right away. And if you are wondering what I'm doing exactly, Today is Sunday, meaning that tomorrow the quests will get reset again. I'm trying to look for a few simple quests that I can do before I get new ones. Some of these quests aren't particularly clear on how you need to do them. Other quests are just ridiculous too, who is ever going to craft 400 mechanical arms? Can't do the passenger of a train, and I just tried getting some progress for the string but that didn't work kill a bunch of mobs but I don't even know which mobs. I hope that I can update this mod soon because several new version come up, since I launched the server. I tend to wait at least a few weeks between updates so it doesn't get too annoying to be dealing with mod packs all of the time, but given how buggy this mod is being, I might have to do it sooner rather than later. But that's for another day, today I wanted to go get some diamonds, and it's all because of these barrels. I have never used sophisticated mods before, but I have some plans I want to test with them. We can check the recipes really quick. Here we go, stack upgrade tier 4. That allows us to multiply the number of stacks in a single slot by 16. It's a bit on the expensive side, gonna need to mine many diamonds for it. But it does sound pretty good. There is also this void upgrade, which seems to be fairly cheap. That should allow me to void certain items that try to enter the barrel. I glanced over the rest of the upgrades but I don't think I will be using any of those, not for now anyway. At this point, you might be thinking that what I'm going to do today is in fact a storage system. Gods, the humans are so smart. But no, that's not the plan. This is where my base is located, my plan is to make a city underwater. I still need to figure out the dimension but I imagine that 15 chunks in diameter should be enough. That means that I need to get rid of the ocean floor. Yep, I'm doing it again. If you're wondering why, let me explain it really quick. You see this height, it's a decent height for a few machines, but this isn't much for a building. Between leaving some space so they don't start at the ocean level, and not having them stuck at the ocean floor either. There is really not much room here to leave some buildings floating. But check this out though, look at all this space that could be ours. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will be digging. Oh, hello fishy. Aren't you the cutest thing? I wonder what kind of fish is this supposed to be? Well anyway. I need to dig down and make a hole big enough for the entire city. Now, there is a slight issue, and you staring right at it. All of these machines are kinda in the middle. 
If I delay the construction of the quarry, the more machines I build, the more complicated is it going to be to clear the ocean floor. So instead of waiting to build the quarry by episode 10, I have a couple of ideas that might help us get this project started. This workstation so far is not particularly big. I'm thinking that, it might not be too hard to just, glue all of this together. I can probably raise a pillar to the surface and pick it up with a minecart. I mean, can't be too hard to do that, surely. Before getting into that, I want to reroll the quests really quickly and see if I can get anything easy, otherwise, I'm going to forget about it. What's this one? Wait, that's actually perfect, hold on, let me compact these again. So I should have a bunch of it. There it is. I already had a ton of lapis prepared in here. If we check the recipes. Here, you can see it produces prismarine. And we can use those shards to craft dark prismarine, which is what I want for the buildings. It's not a very sustainable way of doing it, and all of this lapis won't make for a lot of prismarine. Take into account that we need 8 shards to make one block, and every lapis has a 75% chance of becoming a shard. I hope that it helps until we have a guardian farm in the server. I plan on doing one of those, but I'm not sure when I want to start that project. I wonder how quick is processing each stack, at least it looks pretty fast. I will run a timer when I'm editing the video, I'm curious to know what's the speed of the workstation. I think this should be enough to register in the quest. Do we have any progress? That's a big fat no. Well that's a bummer. Something is clearly getting haunted. But this is the issue though, I don't know what special condition it requires to register. For the millstone for example, we need to output the materials by hand, maybe with the encased fans, it requires something in particular too. Oh well. We do have a decent amount of shards now, I will reroll the rest of them and see if I can get anything at all. No, everything is bad this week, oh well, better fortune next time. Back to other more productive stuff then. I'm going to fish until I have 20 levels, so I can add efficiency 4 to one of my picks. Then I will go mine for diamonds and see if I can get myself some of those barrels and the tier 4 upgrades. Oh. Well hello there, ancient depth city thingy, whatever this thing is called. Look, I see diamonds from here. Should I even go for it? Maybe a little peek, being nosy never hurt anyone. I'm not entirely sure about the sound mechanics, we'll have to find out what triggers those skulk thingies and what doesn't, but as far as I know, there should be some wool around to help me explore. Now the question is, can I take some of it without triggering anything? I guess the answer is yes. It would be useful to google up to see what triggers those things, because I'm making so much noise picking up items, I wonder if that will trigger them already. Something else that I should probably know too is, where is the loot? I know there are chests around but, I have no clue how these things generate if I'm honest with you. I hope I can find one of those swift sneak enchantments, I believe they are called. Oh, there is a chest right there. Surely I'm not going to trigger you, right? Good good, so long as I'm sneaking, I can jump without making sounds. And now, for the moment of truth. That's not a bad hoe. But I'm not sure I'm ever going to use a netherite one, not when I have the Neptunian tools anyway. Ah yes, this next area is going to be the real deal, 
I'm pretty sure those are the ones that spawn the warden. I don't see any entrance to this place. It feels easier to simply bridge up to that chest. To my understanding, I just need to surround this thing with wool. Is this enough? Well, here goes nothing. Awesome, unlike this loop which isn't awesome. Maybe I get those shards, no idea what they are used for. I hope this is enough. And it's a bunch of junk again. Do I need this skulk? Probably not. Mining that diamond feels like trolling. Now where should I go from here? It would be useful to know where things generate. Oh no, oh dear, I thought I could step on this thing. Well that's good to know. I think I can be heard four or five times before the big guy comes after me. I'm probably going to find it out in a minute at this rate. Oh, that's a chest. I like this place though, this is quite chill. I will continue to do the same thing, it seems to be working so far. And the loot is still pretty horrible. Oh no. I'm sure no one minds if I break this. Good good, I need some of this wool. I honestly have no idea if wool doesn't make a sound, or there are no catalyst nearby. There should be a nice chest over here. There it is, looks like those rooms have the same shapes. Now how do I even do this, I can't break that catalyst. I guess I just need to surround them both, maybe. Just in case. I heard the catalyst, but we still good. These enchants are really bad, no? I guess not every chest can have insane loot, otherwise it would be too broken. I was honestly hoping there would be diamonds, or golden apples more than enchants, I don't really need those. Now those leggings do look pretty good though. Yes, this is the enchantment I was looking for, excellent. Because of enchantment industries, we only need one of them to copy. Space is starting to become a problem though, I'm not sure what I should prioritize. Wait, I'm just being silly again, I have two backpacks with me. Now we talking, so much better. Wait what? How did I- Oh, I guess that makes sense, obviously normal blocks don't block the sound. Maybe I should place a block behind them or something, I'm not entirely sure how the sound travels to be honest with you. Maybe like this. One more for good measure. The loot is still quite something. Cat. I don't know the names of the songs, but I think that's the nice one.
This time, yes, I'm making sure there is nothing behind. Everything looks clear to me. I'm actually having fun here. It's a very different style than anywhere else in the game. It's interesting how they achieved a more calm and sneaky style inside of Minecraft, but while still making it feel like part of the game. Oh no, I triggered one again. Oh, never mind, I guess they are called skulk sensors, I'm so silly. Yeah, obviously those are the skulk sensors, I totally forgot their name for the past half an hour. I wonder which ones are the catalyst then. Maybe these ones that spawn the big boy are the catalyst. It would be hilarious if none of them are actually called catalyst and I'm just talking nonsense here. I just gathered a bunch of wool, and I'm starting to think that breaking wool doesn't trigger those sensors. Either that, or I have been so fortunate of never being close to one, I guess. The game has been so silent that I wonder if it has music for this area. I usually have it turned off, so I can add my music for the video without problems. Oh, that will be exciting. I will have to find cool tunes for when I'm editing this part of the video. Not every day I can add spooky witch, background music. I knew it, that wall wasn't gonna do it. I feel like I have one more trigger, and then the big boy will come after me. I'm sure this will be fine. Probably. Ah yes, that wasn't enough. Am I dead yet, or do I still have one more? I believe I can trigger it one more time. Oh dear, I can't step on that one either. Are we safe? Run. No, 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 no. Run, Batsy, run. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? I mean, sure, I made the big boy angry, but I've got quite a lot of loot. It's surprising how long it takes to clear one of those. I have been there for over an hour now, and I think I've barely cleared a third of it. That place is massive. Few days later. It has been some days since the quests got reset, but you know the drill. Time to check them out, roll those that are impossible for me, and try to figure out how exactly to do the rest. Alright, I will leave this here for now, I've got a couple of missions that seem quite doable so I want to test those out before I move on to other things. I just need to get gravel from a millstone which sounds easy enough to do. Or maybe not because it's not counting again. The millstone is indeed producing gravel, but no, it's not counting. Perhaps if I throw the cobblestone manually, maybe the game is not registering my actions. That still didn't do it. What if I don't extract the gravel from the millstone, Will that do any difference? So far it's still at zero, nothing is making a difference. What if I pick it up manually? Will that do it? That does do it, okay, we are making progress. So the millstone quests require you to extract the items from the millstone manually, that's good to know. That should take some time, but at least I know how to do it now, awesome. Now that I have gravel, Let's see if I can do the washing one. That is going to be a big fat no. At least the gravel is nicely going on. What about manually adding it to the depot? Tell me that will do it. That's still a no. I have no idea how to register this one. Just had an idea, maybe the depot is the problem. They might just need to be on the ground instead. 
All right, that washed them. And it's still a no. Well, I just ran out of ideas, no clue how to do this one. Will the smoking one work? That is also a no. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend more time with it this week. I'm currently sick, and I want to at least get this project started. I'm going to craft some glue, which I should have some slime for it. I do, awesome. I think that most parts of the workstation should already be able to get glued just fine. I'm going to remove this section, because I have a different idea to power this thing up. And probably this glass too because it's not connected to anything. Now I need to find where I want my minecart to go. I figured that this is more or less the center. I might move the steam engine one more block to the right side, but this should do it well for now. Extend a pillar to the surface. And now I can place a minecart in here. Just in case, I will set it to lock rotation, so it doesn't do weird stuff. Alright, that part is done. Oh, never mind, that won't do it. We'll have to add a few extra blocks. And now yes, we can start gluing all of this together. Gluing is not particularly hard to do, just need to make sure that everything is connected with one another. And if you are doing a farm, make sure to not have glue areas with empty blocks, that might mess things up. I'm adding extra blocks that I will remove later, just for the sake of making the glue areas more easily. Now for the moment of truth. That was quite the lag spike. But did it do it? It seems like it did. Yes, awesome. It left behind a couple of depots that weren't connected to anything but that's alright. Now where do I want the center of the perimeter to be? If I keep the workstation in the same place it was before. Maybe I want the center to be more around here. Trying to think, if I'm going to build something in the middle, how far I want the workstation to be. This looks like a good distance. Not too far off, but enough room to build a temple or something. I'm looking at the mini-map, thinking if I should align it with the chunk. It should make the planning part much easier. I think this is the spot. Oops, wrong button. No, wrong button. Not that button either. Where are the chunk borders again? Okay, here we go. I think I just pressed all the wrong F3 combinations. My idea is that if I place the center of the perimeter between chunks, I have an easy way to align the buildings later on. I think it should start. Yeah, here should be high enough for the first layer. And we'll also need a platform for myself to stand on. Sweet, let's see. Going to need a speed controller here, a big water wheel on the side. Ouch. That looks high enough. We move it down to 1 RPM. Oh, wait, that's way too close. So the speed controller here. A chain drive on the side, and you go down a couple more blocks. A gearbox at the top. And we place a clutch, and a gear shift. Then the speed back to 1 RPM. And the water wheel on the side. Ouch. So aggressive. Water to move the wheel. And a big cogwheel, sweet. Lever for the clutch, gear shift, and another one for the gantry. Alright, that looks good. Gear shift for directions, clutch to stop it, and to transfer the rotation to the gantry, all of that at 1 RPM. I need to automate making casings, this is getting ridiculous. What's this? Has this been here all the time? It says it's from streams though. Oh sweet, some totems. Well, thank you streams. Now back to casings. I'm going to use it here on this side. Let's check with the borders. Yes, this is perfect, it's right on the border. We glue this, and we have the first part done. 
just need to add as many drills as we want. I'm using a stack and a half, which in my head, sounds like enough for the perimeter. Then we glue it all together. Awesome. Now, where do I put the barrels? I tell you what, maybe I just place it in the center. The glue looks good. Here is what I'm thinking, I will be adding the void upgrade to filter out the stone. Which it still has the filter on it, perfect. And I will be adding the other three stack upgrades. That should give a massive amount of stacks per slot. Which might be a very bad idea. Even with only two upgrades, this looks like trouble. For anyone new to modded, there is a limit to how much NBT data your character can have. Which for some reason, it's pretty easy to exceed with create minecart contraptions. If you exceed it inside your character, you going to crash, and fixing the character can be tricky. If you exceed the limit in a barrel, you might still crash when using jade or opening said barrel. This won't cause problems for the character, it's just gonna crash if you try to open the barrel. I had that happen many times before with contraptions, but I'm not sure what's the limit with sophisticated storage. I'm going to test it out, so if I end up losing all the materials I gather by digging, well that's too bad, I don't really care. But I do want to know what's the limit so I can inform my supporters. I think this height should be perfect for that section. Back to 1 RPM. Powering the gantry. And turning off the clutch. Oops, wrong direction. Awesome. It's kind of funny that this is still at 1 RPM, but look how fast it's actually moving. If we were to use it any faster, even at 3 RPM, it starts to glitch through blocks and cause issues. Hopefully, I aimed properly. Oh, look at that, I nailed it. It's mining decently fast too. Alright, that should be a full circle, time to stop it. We go down one more block. Unpower the gantry. Swap direction. Unpower the clutch. And wait a little bit. This really is incredibly fast, huh? Power the clutch again. Swap direction. Power the gantry. Unpower the clutch. Look at that, I'm a professional. I have done a few more layers, let's see. Alright so the stack upgrade seems to work inside the contraption, that's good. I will let it fill up see if I manage to crash once it's too full. Now Batsy, cue the time lapse. was a lot of fun, especially the part with the ancient city, I had so much fun editing that segment. But this will have to be it for this episode. I have been sick all week, and digging the perimeter turned out to be a whole lot slower than I had anticipated. For the next episode, I will put back the workstation in its place, finish that section with a new nether portal, and yes, I will finally start making some storage. <laughs>